We here at Morales are pushing the boundaries of Web3 development every day, and some of the hottest trends in the space at the moment are gaming and DeFi. So let's talk about their fusion, GameFi. The fact of the matter is that we have seen the gaming industry grow at a very rapid pace in recent years, and it is only expected to trend even higher for the next decade. But more importantly, the blockchain space has grown astronomically. Just look at popular wallet provider MetaMask announcing that in the summer of 2021, its unique users surpassed 10 million in this exponential fashion. So it comes as no surprise that all these new users have led to accelerated development in new use cases within the blockchain space, and one being games, which leverage decentralized tech and finance. First iterations have already started hitting the market with games such as Axie Infinity, World Wide Web, Decentraland, and Sandbox gaining massive traction and paving the way for this next generation of gaming. So what makes GameFi so different? The major distinguishing factor has been the transition from a pay-to-play model to a play-to-earn model. Rather than players having to invest their own money into upgrades, new maps, and in-game assets, now the player can, by investing their own time, gain an advantage in the game. These advantages, of course, may be rewarded in numerous ways depending on the game itself, but the general trends so far have been through NFTs and DeFi. By obtaining NFTs, the user gets proprietary ownership of their assets, knowing that no game studio or centralized authority can take away or freeze their collected items. And in best cases, these assets are even interoperable across multiple different games, which is very, very exciting. Secondly, by leveraging DeFi, these games can use smart contracts on the blockchain and issue governance tokens, which not only work as in-game currency, but also allow the users who participate and excel in the game to accumulate stronger and stronger positions that translates to the authority or power in decision-making of the game's future direction. Finally, let's talk about what is actually required to participate in GameFi. As a player, the only thing essential will be a crypto wallet address that is compatible with the chain the game is supported on. This will most often be used instead of traditional usernames and passwords, thus serving as the Web3 authentication mechanism, as well as then allowing players to interact with functionality in the game, giving the opportunity to accumulate assets and trade with other users. Now, if you're a game developer, you will have to integrate a Web3 provider into your game, and this is where I want to mention the Ethereum Unity boilerplate. Unity is, of course, one of the flagship game engines in the industry which can be used to build for mobile, desktop, Xbox, and PlayStation, to name a few. And with this boilerplate, you have a built-in Web3 provider that has support for numerous EVM chains straight out of the box. The link to this repo is down in the description below, so please go check it out and start your journey in GameFi development. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. Keep on building cool stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.